There's a big problem for you guys in the United States, and I'm sorry to hear it, but Trump's tariffs are killing big battery investment, and that's gonna hurt you. In the long run, it's gonna make electricity more expensive in the United States, it's gonna make it more polluted, causing massive challenges for the United States' 330 million population. But it's having one benefit for us here in Australia. So thanks, Trump. No, actually not thanks, Trump. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. If you can support the channel by becoming a YouTube member, I'd really appreciate it. And you do get access to some videos in advance. I'll put a link in the description below. Another big battery supplier, this time the one building the biggest battery in Australia, and actually I believe one of the three biggest in the world, has said that President Donald Trump's tariff threats are killing battery storage investments in the United States by creating more competition and lower prices in other markets like Australia. I'm guessing Donald Trump doesn't think through everything he does and well, this is the result of what's happening. Reneweconomy.com.au says that Finnish group Wart Sealer is supplying the battery modules for the giant 700 megawatt slash 2,800 megawatt hours erraring battery, which is actually being installed on Australia's largest, the site of Australia's largest coal power plant. It's going to replace Australia's largest coal power plant. And it's only about, I don't know, about 150 kilometers away from where I live. So it's really good news. But anyway, that battery, when complete, will be the biggest in Australia, adding to its growing portfolio of completed projects in Australia that include the Torrens Island battery in South Australia. Late last week, the company, which also specializes in thermal generators and marine engine systems, says the US market is facing massive headwinds and challenges because of the uncertainty around tariffs. The tariffs are just up and down. It's like, it's like a, a wild card game. It's just anything can happen. The growth continues in other markets, said the company installing the batteries in Australia, but the competition is increasing and putting pressure on profitability, the company said in a statement, noticing, noting that Australia is one of its major markets outside of the United States. The UK as well is a big market, and so is Europe. So Europe, the UK, and Australia, we're all benefiting from the US, basically Trump's tariffs, and you guys in the United States, honestly, are, are going to suffer in the long term. This is not hyperbole. This is actually just a fact. Later in a conference call with analysts, the company said orders were down 79% in the latest quarter because of the uncertainty. That's a huge drop off. We have a challenge with the volumes at the moment. The US market is stagnant. All competitors move to the more active markets. And that, of course, increases competition, said CEO Hakan Agnaval. Order intake was down 79%. That is huge. Of course, the US tariffs, the US market is muted. Competition increases in other markets, so our order intake has really taken a fall. The conference call with analysts was completed before the US slapped a new 95% tariff before the US did this on graphite, a key ingredient in EV and grid batteries. Um, yeah, wild. I mean, things are kind of out of control in the US right now. I don't, I think. Initially, I could understand some of the theories behind the tariffs on cars, on cars coming from Europe. I think that was kind of like tit for tat, right? The stage to which things have gotten to at this point in time is absolutely wild. Wartzilla regards itself as one of the world's top five battery storage suppliers, along with the likes of Tesla, Fluence, SunGrow, and GE Vernova. And I'm going to guess that they're all facing similar challenges. The US-based Fluence has previously warned of a billion-dollar shortfall in orders this year, as a result of the Trump administration's tariff threats and flagged that earnings this year could drop to zero from previous guidance of around $90 million. The evolving trade and tariff landscape has created enormous uncertainty in the US market, which has led us to agree with our customers during the second quarter to pause certain contracts, both under execution and those we expected to sign until we have better visibility, said Fluence CEO in May. The Trump tariffs have been cited as the main cause for the, the collapse of the Oregon-based Powin, which supplied batteries to Acacia's 850-megawatt-slash-1,680-megawatt-hour Waratah super battery in New South Wales and the smaller Ulinda Park battery project in Queensland. Wartzilla said in comments that new entrants are entering the system integration market, of which batteries are a key component, and operating margins are being crunched. I should point out, that's the same thing BYD and CATL say 
about battery prices, right? Battery prices continue to fall and they say, oh, we're making no money. And then it comes out there first and second quarter and third and fourth yearly earnings results numbers and we see they made billions of dollars. So take that uh, with a grain of salt. It may be true, it may not. The Finnish company is supplying batteries to AMP, AMP Energies, Bungama Battery in South Australia and has been selected to provide batteries to the Blind Creek Solar and Battery Project in New South Wales. In other words, what they're doing is all these battery companies are seeing all this craziness in the United States. They're basically having to stop everything and they're focusing on other countries as a result. They're going, okay, well, we'll bid on all these batteries. We'll bid in really competitive, good prices on these batteries. And that's bringing the price of these big batteries down in other countries, obviously in the United States. They'll probably get, maybe they'll get back to normal, maybe in a year or two. By then, these big companies will have a logbook of big orders placed outside of the US and it's going to cause problems in America for actual uh, prices. I think prices could actually go up as a result. The tariffs, of course, will increase prices anyway. Guys, what do you think about all of this? Do you agree with me on the tariffs that they're getting just a bit wild and out of control? Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. Guys, I recently got a solar system installed on my roof, which is just insane. It's mind blowing. On many days of the year, it's given me enough energy to, to charge two Tesla Model Ys or two Xpeng G6s. The Xpeng G6 is the car that I'll be using. Uh, so my solar will be powering my EV. In fact, I'm about to pick it up this week, which is really, really exciting. But the efficiency of solar panels is skyrocketing. The records just keep getting broken. And what this means is that as the price of solar continues to fall, as it does, pay no attention to the media because their facts are just made up. The price of solar continues to come down. The efficiency goes up at the same time. Now, that means that actually the combination of solar with battery storage is cheaper than coal in almost every country now worldwide which is game changing on a number of levels, especially when you consider the fact that we now have new solar panels that have just been revealed within the last week, which are much more efficient than the solar panels on my roof that were only installed months ago. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. If you want to use the solar company that I, that I used here in Australia for my new system, I did all the research, took me, I'm one of those research geeks. I look at all the reviews. I look at, all, I look at all this different stuff. And I know there's lots of fake reviews out there. There is. I Part of my job in the past, marketing department, um, there was a fake reviews section. I know it sounds bad, but this is very common for many companies. They have a section of their business that uh, employs these dark arts. Anyhow, I looked at all that stuff and coming from a marketing background, I could tell what was real and what wasn't. And these guys had the best reviews in Australia, hands down, easily. Resync Solar, I'll put a link in the description and if you use my link, then they will give you a bit of a discount on your system.